Allah. Thank you for coming out. Uh, my name is Bilal Khan, Kamosan student. Um, I, I was born and raised here since I was, well, born and raised here. I've lived here for all my life. I have a lot of friends with families in, uh, in the Gaza area, or the Palestine area, and I always hear stories of all of these horrible, horrible things happening there. And I always think, what what is our government doing for these people? Why is it not? Why is nothing being hap Why is nothing happening to help these people? Why can't we just bring a bunch of planes, uh, fly them all out, and then I read more, and it's just becoming more and more depressing. And I can't I can't help but wonder if this world is a really like this, if this is how the world is going to turn out. And so I just. Here today, I'm, sh I'm sure we all have a very similar feeling. We don't, we don't know how to express ourselves because there's almost no words to, to there's almost no words to uh, s explain how this feels to know that so many people have been going without homes, without food, without shelter, without water for so long. And this, this isn't as if it's just been in, in my lifetime or many of your lifetimes. It's been more. It's been more than 70 years has, since this has been going on. And we do need to have some sort of ceasefire and some sort of humanitarian uh, corridor that opens up so that we can help the people of Palestine and bring, bring them food and bring them water and bring them medical aid because these people are just like us. They need water, they need food, they need all of these things that we have and we're not able to give, them, give it to them. On the House of Commons website, there is a petition with over 270,000 signatures, and we haven't seen anything from the Canadian government. We just need to have more involvement, involvement from the government because the people want it, but the government cannot allow themselves to spend money to help these people, and it's really shameful and pathetic. Yeah. According to a poll that was done on November 5th and 6th, over 70% of Canadians who took this poll were against this Israeli uh, occupation of Palestine. And that is such a large body, but it still goes to show that the Canadian government will only respond to things that favor themselves personally and not favor the greater good of their own people or the people of the world. I'm here today and I'm, I'm sure most of you are also here today to tell the Canadian government that they need to step forward and they need to do something about the thousands and thousands of children dying, not just children, children, men, women, every single human being in the Gaza Palestine area, they are just like us, and they are dying by thousands and thousands. In the past two years, 2021 and 2022, Canada had at least 50, $50 million of weapons exports, and I can't even begin to imagine how much of that is being used in the bombing and gunning down of Palestinian people, and I can't believe that the government would do such a thing and have such an atro atrocious genocide on their hands when they know that this is wrong and so many of their people who do not agree with this still are going to be living in their country because they are, they are here and they cannot move away because of their poor governmental rules and laws. We have to use our collective voice to tell the government they have to do something new. They have to, they have to support the Palestinian people. They have to give them food. They have to give them water. They have to find some way. They have to find some way of bringing people a way out of that uh, atrocious, atrocious genocide that is happening. And they have to help these people in need. And it can't be that they're blindly paying the aggressors and they're turning a blind eye when the people who are supporting or who, the, the people who are living in their country do not want them to support these aggressors the aggressors need to have need to be stopped and the 
the people who are being victimized need to the people who are who the, the victims need to be saved this did not start on october 7th this did not start 20 years ago this, this did not start 50 years ago and we don't know when this will end we can only hope and pray that with our efforts we can bring a stop to this as soon as we can thank you for coming out